Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is single element in a sorted array. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says you are given with a sorted array consisting of only integers where every element appears exactly twice except for one element which appears exactly once. Find the single element that appears only once. And we are going with example. And if you look at example number one, one is coming for two times, two is coming for one time, three is coming for two times, four is coming for two times, and eight is also coming for two times. So the solution is two, as two is coming for one time. And if you look at example number two, three is coming for two times, seven is coming for two times, ten is coming for one time. And the answer is ten. And we are also provided with a note. And the note is saying your solution should run in O of log n time and O of 1 space. So let's move on to the pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question in O of log n. And after that, we will see the code. I have taken the example. And the question is asking us to find the unique number. And the easiest and brute force way without using extra spaces, I will check the next number of every second element. That means from here I will check the next number, this is 1. From here I will check the next number, this is 4. From here I will check the next number, which is 5. From here I will check the next number, which is 8. And these two numbers are not same, so I will gonna simply return 6. But this solution is in O of n. But the question is asking us to find a solution in O of log n. And how we can do that? To solve most of the questions in log n, we can use binary search. And as we are searching in this question, so binary search is the best way to get the solution in log n. Before we dive into that, if I say we have, let me raise that for you. If I say we have an array of odd length. And if you look at this array, this is an array of odd length. As we have given in the question that we have only one element with frequency of 1 and the rest of all the element with frequency 2. That means the given array is of odd length. If I remove a pair of same element from the middle, so if I check here, this is the middle and if I remove this part, after removing these two element, I will be left with two subarrays, this part and this part. And in these two subarrays, one will be of odd length and the another will be of the even length. And whosoever is of the odd length, we can perform the binary search on that part. Again, we will do the binary search on this part and we will keep doing it until and unless we are not just left with a single element. And at the end, we will simply return that single element. So this is how we will gonna perform our binary search. But we need to be very careful to assign the new position to our two pointers, which are left and right. And why I'm saying so? Let's see it with the example. I have taken four different examples. And now the question is when I'm saying that we will gonna remove the pair of element from the middle, how will going to ensure that we are removing the element with the same value? For that, we're going to find the middle element. And then we'll going to check for the same value in the left and in the right. And let's see it with the example. So I will going to take two pointers, left and right. I'll calculate my middle, left plus right divided by two. So eight plus zero divided by two, which is four. So I have mid element here. And as I can see, my same value is on the right. So my same value is on mid plus one. So these are our same value. So now I will gonna shift my left to mid plus one plus one, or you can say mid plus two. So my left and here value is mid plus two. Now let's check the second example. I have left and I have right. Again, again, my mid will be equal to left plus right divided by two. And now 
my mid will be at 5 and again my same value is on the mid plus 1 okay but now my odd side is on the left part so my right will be mid minus 1 so let's see the so let's see the another example so here i have my left and here i have my right and my mid will be equal to r plus l divided by 2 so my mid is here and the same value is on the left side so mid minus 1 and now again i will gonna assign the new right value because the old part is on the left and my right will be here which is mid minus 2 and if i check this example i have left here right here and my mid will be left plus right divided by 2 which is here and the same value is on the left side so mid minus 1 is the same value and we can see the old side is on the right hand side now my left will be equal to mid plus 1 so you can see that every time when we are moving our left and right one time i am assigning when i am assigning on the right m plus 2 and one time i am assigning m plus 1 and same goes on when i am going on the right hand side one time i am assigning mid minus 1 and one time i am assigning mid minus 2 so these are the four different conditions but now the question is how we are going to ensure that how to modify our left and right for that we will check the left half and the right half of the middle value and if we see it here here we have even on the left and in the right if you check the length is 4 here the length is 4 if you check here our middle is here we have odd value because because the length of the left part is 5 and the length of the right part is 5 and if you check it here here the halves are even and if you check it here the halves are odd now the question is how to check whether the halves are even or odd if i say check right minus mid and if right minus mid modulus 2 is equal to 0 that means both of the halves are even and if we do it with the example so right is 8 minus middle which is 4 it turn out 4 and 4 modulus 2 is equal to 0 so that means the part is even and if we check it here right is 10 middle is 5 which is equal to 5 5 modulus 2 is not equal to 0 so the halves are odd if you check it here right is 8 mid is 4 again which is 4 and 4 modulus 2 is equal to 0 so the halves are even and if you check it here 10 minus 5 which is 5 5 modulus 2 is not equal to 0 in this way the halves are odd once we know whether the halves are odd or even then we can come up with the rules to assign the new pointers to left and right or you can say we can come up with the rules to assign the new left and the new right and if mid's partner or pair is on the right we have it here and halves are even In that case, we will going to assign our left to mid plus 2. 
and we are doing it here if our mid pair is on right and the halves are odd then we will going to assign our right equal to mid minus 1 right equal to mid minus 1 and we are doing it here if my mid pair is on left and halves are even then i will going to assign my right equal to mid minus 2 my right equal to mid minus 2 and we are doing it here and if my mid pair is on left and halves are odd then i am going to assign my left to mid plus 1 and we are doing it here so these were the four rules through which we can assign our new left and new right so let me recap and let me tell what we are doing here we will going to perform a binary search and we will going to find our midpoint then we will gonna check that whether the halves are even or odd and for that we will gonna do right minus mid and we will take out the modulus of that if that is equal to 0 that means the halves are even and if mid pair is on the right hand side and if the mid pair is on the right hand side and the halves are even then we will gonna do left equal to mid plus 2 if the mid pair is on the right and the halves are odd then we will gonna perform right equal to mid minus 1 if mid pair is on the left halves are even then we will going to perform right equal to mid minus 2 if mid pair on the left and halves are odd then we will going to assign our left equal to mid plus 1 so these are the four rules so this is the way we can solve this question and if you are still confused here i'm pretty sure after seeing the code you will be more clear with the question so let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem so let's look at the code at line number four i have taken a pointer left and at line number five i have taken a pointer right and initially left is on zero and right is on length of nums minus one and i'm taking a while loop while left is less than right i'm taking out my mid and i'm taking out my mid left plus right minus left divided by two and you can also take out mid by calculating left plus right divided by 2. I am using this because some people use Java and to overcome the problem of overflow we are using mid this way. And then I am checking whether the halves are even or not. And for that I am doing right minus mid then I am taking modulus of them by 2 and if the modulus by 2 is coming 0 that means the halves are even. After that I am taking care of my all four conditions. And the conditions are if the pair is on the right side and halves are even then i'm assigning my left equal to mid plus two and if my pair is on the right hand side and halves are not even then i'm assigning my right to mid minus one and if my pair is on the left hand side and the halves are even then i'm assigning my right to mid minus two and if the pair is on the left hand side and the halves are not even then I'm assigning my left equal to mid plus 1. Else, I'm simply returning the nums mid. And I will keep performing this until unless I am not left with only one single element. And at the end, I'm simply gonna return nums left. So this is the code for this problem. Let's check whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code. And it got accepted. So this was the solution for this problem. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up.
थैंक यू सो मच गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो प्लीज डोंट फोरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब